Yep, looks good. All right, I'm ready to go home. That was just the first day of the work week. Not that tiring. <sighs> yeah, so I applied for a promotion at work. Don't really need to. Like, I'm satisfied with my position and it's pretty much enough, but I guess I can go out and get more now. So I applied and today was the exam for this application, for this position. It's like a knowledge check handwritten test. The thing about it is there was 15 questions and I was pretty much spot on sure about 11 of them and for four of them kind of not so sure. <coughs> so 10 out of 15 is already 66 percent so another percentage would be something what, like seven point something more so maybe I would have at least got 75 percent. It's 11 and 12 would be 80%. Of the three that I wasn't sure about, I had to have gotten at least one of them right on an educated guess. So 80%, that must be passing, and I guess I'm good. I must have passed. Also, I had good news about it, so I should be pretty good to go. I'm not that excited about getting this role. I am in a way, but at the same time, it has its benefits and it has its downfalls. One of the downfalls is that I'll have a lot more work. Another downfall, schedule change. I'll be subject to a lot of different schedules. I don't want my schedule to change too much. I want to be there for my family. But I've got to figure out a way to make it work. And last night, whenever I uh, went to the gym, I didn't notice it then, but it feels like I pulled something in my back now here. So looking forward to some rest. Got to rest up the back. Oh, what is with this? Let's go. Okay, Motorblog again reminds me of the uh, the guy last night with his head on the ground, laying in blood. Makes me not want to do biking anymore. That's not really the case. I still love biking. It's still the best way to get around these streets, that is. Ain't nothing more faster, convenient, efficient, and affordable than this. And he's going to make those guys go. Get me trapped here. Come on, man, let's go. You can make it there. Over. Oh, my God, dude. This guy sucks. One of the numbers from his license plate is missing. He crashed it or something. My phone apart. Finally, I'm gonna go whenever it's tight traffic. I don't know why this Jeep's gotta ride the line like this. He's all the way to the left. Why does he have to do that? I think it'll be hard for this guy. He's not good at passing this long truck. It's as if this guy's leaving space on this side here. Now he's pulling to the left so we can't pass. There we go. Wide open there. Oh boy, looking forward to going home. Already more than halfway there, so that's good. Man, it must be really dusty out. I'm getting stuff in my eyes and my visor's down. Man, this is just an overcast day. That's all it is. Almost got it there. Smashed the beamer. I shouldn't have went left here. Should have just went straight. Should have waited for it. Because anyway, as soon as that clears up on its side, going straight back there would have been just fine. And I really hope I'm able to vibrate that spasm out of my back. Well, that was pretty much an uneventful ride home. Sorry about that. Didn't say much. It didn't see much. But oh well, not every day can be great. I'll give this video a D. D minus. I would only give it an F or something if I didn't have any audio or something. Which we'll see. I'm not actually sure. But I have it. Man, it stinks like fish guts out here. There we go. Silver West Street. Little river right there. And I hope the idiot iron lady comes soon. I don't have to wait for her too long. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that shit. Peace.